Prepare yourself. Grizzly! Persona! <laughs> Slap my hand. Nope. People are imbeciles. I guess it'll just replace the <coughs> good old Tekken tutorial series. So in the first episode, I'm just gonna get some wood and decide where I want to um, live. As far as mods go, it'll be a learning experience for hopefully both of us. The only mods I know how to use in this, well, are Twilight Force, Mr. Construct, and IC2, Mr. Craft 2. And I guess if we're going to change 3, even though that's hardly a mod, because creators just insanely slow. That's beside the point. Anyway. I'll just make my house right here. Right next to the spawn, that way I have nothing to worry about. As you can see, my skin is uh, Yu Narukami from Persona 4, who's the main character. said it already, we'll probably do Industrial Craft 2 first, and then go do other things, and there is a pig right here. Trying to up my frame rate somehow. Alright. That should be alright. <coughs> we don't have tree capitators specifically because of dark craft, I believe, in Mr. Construct. So we just have to chop down trees regularly. right there. Clay over there for bricks. <coughs> That's a good mountain right over here. Oh, let, me just, let me just go ahead and uh, I did not have four seeds open around. kind of weird how I don't have permission to do stuff on my own server. Well, it's not even a multiplayer server, it's just a regular old server. And it doesn't want to work very well.
the house and then cut it till I actually can start doing tutorials or what I want to do. But I'll probably try to figure out to keep inventory because I do not want to lose all my stuff because I probably I think that's probably the most stupid aspect of Minecraft. That there's no way to really turn that off besides the keep inventory thing. Try it one more time. I don't know why. Let me try game rule mob griefing. No, no, no. See, I don't have permission for that. I don't care about building very much, so we're just going to make a simple little house here, just to start off with. And I'm also not symmetrical by any stretch of imagination, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. house really isn't going to do much of anything, as far as I know, except just let me sleep at night time and everything. I have some lovely Minecraft music for you. Sorry about the really quiet uh, microphone. I'm glad I went and checked. Kind of accidentally stopped recording. But anyway, let's set that waypoint. I'm not home. Home. Alright, now I'm going to go on a hunt for sheep real quick. There's a lot of animals around here for food. This guy's a hat. Which I don't really care. Now, am I going to be able to find sheep? Is the real question. Yeah, here we go. Wow, that thing breaks so fast. Alright, now we're good to go back to the house and get ready to sleep. I don't know if it'd be faster to cut across the water. I guess it would. I need to watch out. I got a skeleton on my back.
I can't even hardly see at nighttime anyway, so I need to try to sleep. Options, video settings. Okay, I'm on bright, just making sure. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go make a shovel and a new pick. Lamb chop, okay. That's cool. And I guess we'll just desecrate this place over here. I'm just gonna mine it out like crazy because I know I need a lot. And if any of you are saying, oh, your computer's crappy because it has lag, I have an 8-core processor and a 2-gig graphics card, so uh, my computer is not crappy at all. Just letting you know that. I will admit I only have 8 gigs of RAM, but that's not that big of a deal. Because the graphics card is more important in most cases. have a stack so what I can do is go ahead and throw this in here <coughs> to cook and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more wood for charcoal I guess I'll show the completion of my house and then I'll go and get to a point where I have a cave somewhere or uh, this that mine over there I guess could be considered a mine. I'll start doing stuff in it. Dadgum it. Getting my finger off that button. Oh, also, if anybody's actually watching this, let me know if you want to see some random TF2, because, uh, me and my friends, at least one of them, we, uh, really like TF2 and love, uh, I guess we wouldn't mind recording it. What's, what's this? Blueberries. Oh, I, oh, I don't want to eat those. Well, hey, we may have just found an easily renewable food source if this stuff grows back. Cool. Ah, back to business. Oh yeah, I was gonna go mine a couple more for another furnace. And I could place another furnace and get this one to cook my charcoal. Golly, I swear industrial craft or something makes furnaces slower. Alright, that'll give me some charcoal. Uh, I'm out of everything, so I'll have to go back to punching trees. I don't want to punch that tree, because that tree's going to be a pain. <coughs> and after I punch down this tree, I'll go ahead and finish the house, or put the glass I have in. There we go. And Optifine should be in this because it's a slightly modded version of Feed the Beast. So we get the lovely connected glass that looks infinitely better than the regular glass. Oh, 
okay, I got lucky there. Just keep making charcoal. This is before the charcoal texture got updated. It's a cave over here. Well, that works out really well. I'd rather not go in with no uh, six though. And getting out is going to be really hard. I might just make a ladder. This is supposed to be a multiplayer series, but um, my friend's just too busy to play for majority of the time. Alright, it'd probably be best if I grabbed some more for a crafting table. I really need an axe. And I'm chopping down a super tree. Oh boy. And I'm just gonna take what I need and I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. I don't think that should be enough. I do not need you. And uh, ladders. We'll start with nine and see how good that is. Whoopsies. Go away, Windows 8. There's a guy down there. And it's an angry zombie. Great. There's my first piece of iron. Okay. Now that I've had a, a near-death experience, I really need to figure out that keep inventory stuff. So I'm probably going to... Uh... Go check that out. And I don't need sand for anything else, so there's no need to stop the smelting. Plus I don't have near enough to cover the roof. I can start, I guess. Mm, the remainder should be enough. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough charcoal for anything. I'm dropping the rest of this in here. I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to go ahead and make torches. And I'm going in without a shovel because I'm smart. Or uh, without a sword because I'm smart <clears throat> oh yeah I will be right back let me go check real quick the keep inventory thing not working so hold on I just realized that I forgot to uh, uh, put the world on um cheat mode so I'm gonna have to go creative my house back I'm just gonna recreate the world and I will be back in a few minutes so yeah sorry okay after about 10-15 minutes I'm back like I said I finished the house all this was in creative I gave myself back all my stuff went ahead and got a uh, uh, stone everything besides the hoe because I don't need one 
And I also have really loud music because, you know, music's amazing. Alright, anyway, we're going to go back to doing what we said we were going to do, and that's mining. I also took the liberty of giving myself a stack of torches. There's a lot of uranium down here, so that's really good if I intend on doing that. Hopefully this cave's bigger than it looks. <coughs> if not, I have another cave right over there anyway. Now, I am not going to sit here and mine coal all day because I don't want to break this pick on just coal because it would be a big waste. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and get enough cobblestone to make another pick just in case. I wish I had that one mod that told me what stuff was. Oh. Well. Neither one of them are actually caves. <coughs> and I'm not quite sure what this is. What is this? Copper? Okay, I need that anyway. Also need rubber. Hopefully it won't be that hard to find in a big forest like this. I need iron worse. Now, the only sort of cheating I normally do is I will... Uh, do my own equipment exchange type thing where I will trade out one uh, copper or something like that for one iron if I desperately need it because if I have something of lower value to me and there's something higher value that's relatively the same thing being a metal ingot then I can uh, trade it out And here's some iron right here, I didn't even notice. I walked right by it. At least some mod seems to be upping the vein size of iron. I already got 12 iron. That'll be a good start. I'll probably try to use it on generators and stuff. I'm going to have to make a lab somewhere, but I don't know where I want to put it. And I have enough coal right now. If I need more, I'll come back and get some. Oh. So there's a cave over here, after all. Let me just mine some more out to make it look more like an actual cave. Plus, who knows, I may do a gravel road or something later. Alright, I think I have a big enough safety net of torches to where I should be able to see everything coming. Alright, that's industrial craft copper. I want to say this is tin. It is. Tin is extremely important for batteries. Let me get this crap out of here. Alright, good. And I, I'm pretty sure most of the time in these big mod packs, um,. Ores are pretty universal, like the copper from, say, Galactcraft, if it has copper, I don't think it does, but just say it did, it would work with, instead of industrial craft copper, for industrial craft things, and vice versa. So that's a pretty cool thing that they do for you, to make it a little bit easier on you, if you're having a hard time finding something. I'd like to hit the end of the cave almost. But then, <clears throat> if I did, I'd be out of luck. The materials. Just 
gonna check and make sure there's nothing else down there. There's not. Alright, when I get back up, I need to go on a rubber hunt. And don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Uh, SpongeBob. I swear that movie was one of the best things that ever happened to SpongeBob. And is this Certus Crystal stuff? Yeah. I think this is for uh, Applied Energistics, which is, I think, just a really easy way to store stuff. If so, I'm going to go ahead and grab it because that's I think that's the second mod I really want to get into. Because I really want to try to not do just stuff I know because then that defeats the whole purpose of doing this series at least from, from my standards because I actually want to learn myself uh, somewhere down the line there may be some multiplayer of this but it'll it'll I guess it'll be a series but it'll, it will be like an off branch of this because I still want to do this hang on let me get a drink I still want to do this because this is actually, knock on wood, pretty fun. There's Industrial Craft 10 right there, and there's, I'm not sure what other mod it is that has 10 in it. And as you can see, I turned off mob griefing, and I did turn on keep inventory. So for the most part, I accomplished everything I wanted to. That's a zombie. Let me just do a quick inventory check on ore. I kind of like to have my ore all in one place. Thanks to Starbound. Anyway. I may go ahead and give myself a knapsack just for storage. Although, I guess that is cheating, but... Mm. <sighs> I think it would be a good idea to do so. That creeper has a chest on his head. But I won't get it, because he killed himself. Silly creeper. <coughs> I'll put on a hat if I ever get the chance to get one that doesn't look stupid, which could be pretty hard because a lot of the hats look pretty silly. I'm going to throw away these bushes because they're nothing but trouble. I think that's lead. I don't... I want to say it's useless. Now this mod is something I'm going to have to research. Applied Energistics is something I'm going to have to research before I can really get anywhere with it. I know you need power from outside sources. That's why I wanted to go Industrial Craft first. And is this the forced stuff? I think it is. It is. That's cool. Well now I know what this stuff looks like if I ever play multiplayer. There went my pick. Crap. Go ahead and make two and put one right there and then take this back. And I'm going to go ahead and mine some more stone just so I can have enough for when I run out of picks again. I hate the lighting problems in this game. Uh, this is Monizit. Uh, once again, don't know what mod it's for. That up there is Cinnabar. It turns into Quicksilver for Thumbcraft. I personally hate Thumbcraft, so if I do any of it, 
which is pretty unlikely, but if I do, it'll be one of the last things I do is just like a, just to get videos out, I suppose. I don't know when I'll go back up. I want to have at least a stack of every uh, main ore. And I want to get the macerator out pretty quick. Thankfully, I have enough flint on me already. But I need redstone, so I'm gonna have to waste some iron for a red for a uh, iron pick. By the way, in case I didn't say, force is from Darkcraft. Pretty sure you can make stuff with it. Uh, like tools and armor. We'll see if it, uh, there it goes. Okay. Well, there's force ingots. You can make them with other ingots. Just gotta wait for it to load while it finds out what force is for. Force stick. Mitt, pick. Yeah, as you can see, it can be turned into anything. Recipe, force planks. I guess those are force trees, then. I think they're force trees, actually. I have almost a stack of iron, so I shouldn't be afraid to waste a little bit of it. I'm deep enough for a uh, redstone, so I should be should be all right. Now, as far as coal goes, I don't specifically need coal itself for right now because I don't intend on doing solar panels. I don't know how high up my house is, but uh, I don't know what kind of power source I really want to use to start with. I know eventually. I want to get deep into nuclear power and I guess I'll just use the the universally accepted idea for the thing which is going to be a pain in the butt but I guess I'll give it a shot I'll need a lot of material for it all right and I hit gold so now is as good a time as any is to go ahead and uh, do this this and I only need three so there we go <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get some coal while I'm right here I'm gonna go ahead and light up the path a little bit more I'll probably either slash kill to get back or something along those lines Now, me doing Industrial Craft 2 first does not mean I'm going to go from nothing all the way up to doing heavy nuclear reactors or anything. I'm just going to get established in it, and then I'll probably go over to Applied Energistics, and then I'll just do a little bit of, do a little bit of, a uh, powering stuff, because I don't mind, uh, Oh, my mind just blank. I don't mind going back and forth between mods, honestly. Now this iron pick is only going to be for gold and redstone and diamonds if I find any. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a knapsack. Okay, for those of you that don't know how to make it, it's tough tool rods. This is from Tinker's Construct. Gold ingot and leather. You can also use aluminum brass, which is just an opposite. And as you can see, it basically just gives you a whole new inventory with which I'm going to store my ores in.
Alright, and now we'll go on my merry way. I don't really want to be going up because. <coughs> yeah. After this uh, recording, I'm either going to go play Persona 4 Golden or I'm going to restart uh, Black or White 2. Black or uh, White 1 or Black 2. I haven't decided. I am going to grab these because I actually think they are useful for some dark craft stuff. I forget what it is. I think it's like auto repair or something. That was useless. It appears I'm going to have a lot of excess stuff and I can make force ingots out of just about any metal of my choice and I finally hit the end of this cave. Goodness. So I'm going to mine the rest of this. And I'm going to teleport back to the house, I guess. I wish it would auto-default to the knapsack if it saw that it was in there. That means there's another cave around here, but... I don't really care, because I think I have enough to get going. And Industrial Craft 2 is probably one of the more simple mods in here. I don't have a lot of tin or copper, but uh, I can mine copper. I may, for a little while, try to find my way back, or at least just get more copper, because copper is an extremely important part of this mod. Till I can, uh, actually it's pretty important through and through, even if you don't want to use copper wires. And I'm probably going to take the quickest steps possible to a macerator. That way I don't have to waste a lot of ore in furnaces and stuff. Because then even though I don't have hardly any, I can still double my output. Um, I need a... Uh, I need redstone. I can't go back up without redstone. So I need to look around first. Because if I came back up without redstone, I couldn't do just about anything. So give me a minute to find some. Little baby Enderman gonna kill me. I want to attack him, and I don't know how much health he has. It sounds like there's a lot of enemies up there. <coughs> May actually just go ahead and dig down from here. I wish you'd have been more hostile to mobs, too. It'd be nice. And for future reference, any cheating I do is for the success of the series. Ah, oh, crap. That was a bad idea. Well, it looks like I'm going to be going back up and testing keep inventory. My goodness. I did not expect to live that transaction. So I think I'm going to hide over here. 
while I get some health back. I need an eat. I guess not. But I don't want to advance much farther because I don't know how far ahead the zombies are. Somewhere around here, my frames evened out, so now I'm actually recording at 60 instead of 45. Probably because I'm underground, that, that's probably it. Yeah, at this point, if I keep going up, I'm not going to accomplish anything, so I need to just... I think just like... Two or three blocks of ore of redstone would probably be enough. So I think I'm going to dig down. Let me just check and make sure this is lead. I know you can make the ingot or whatever, but I don't know what it's for. <coughs> Maybe ingot or nugget, I'm not sure what they or chunk, I don't know. I just wish wish it didn't lag so much when you try to see the uses on it. Because your whole game, like, freezes. Block of lead. Impervium. Or er, Innervium, my bad. Steam turbine. Charge meter. Laden jar. Battery. Furnace. Insulated coil, wire motor, grinder, mixer, multimeter, redstone energy cell. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. If I need it, I'll shoot myself in the foot later, but I don't really th think I need it at all. slime and it sounds insanely close I think it's this way actually hopefully it's downwards or leads downwards at the very least I can tell there's a cave over here. it. Well, that was that was an adventure. Ow. 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 Get off me. Getting that out of here right now. I'm gonna quit.
equip this. Do I have any food? This. Little baby slime is not going to bother me. I should have checked the chests for food first. And that's my bad. See? There was, there was basically bread in here. Aqua affinity, okay. Get off me. Hi, got that crap out. Alright, anyway. Well. I'm definitely oared up. Or Hyundai? Nah. Alright, good. This is what I like to see going downwards. And I'm out of torches. I'm going to give it a quick look around over here. You want to wanna come down here, buddy? You, uh... You, uh... Want to... Want to come down here, Mr. Creeper Man? Well, gotta love getting stuck on blocks, and there's another one. And I am out of torches. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't like doing that stuff, but I don't care that much. What's this? Can I have it? And it's silver. Is there any more back there? I don't think there is. <coughs> Still no redstone. I need to start watching my pick. And I need to start going down further because I really don't need anything at all. Alright guys, I'm going to look around for a little bit and I'll meet you back up top with some redstone and uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and uh, got, got some redstone, it's actually a pretty big pain, <clears throat> didn't find any diamonds though, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Now I want to get out all my ores and which may be actually pretty hard to do, no? And then I'll just throw them all in here. You can count as ore, you guys. You too. I'll put cook stuff in there, you can go in there. And take y'all out. I don't like either way those look, but oh well. I'm going to go ahead and make another chest for junk. Throw it over here and put stuff I do not want pretty much at all on me. There we go. Okay. 
we can finally get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is cook iron. Now, if this works correctly, this should turn into refined iron. We'll see. Refined iron. <clears throat> this is the start of everything in this mod. Now, to prepare for future events, I'm going to go ahead and make a tree tap, which I need. you need to get rubber. And... I think the first thing I'll make is an iron furnace. Just because of how slow. No, actually, no, I won't. I'm going to leave that in there to cook. And I'm going to go on a little bit of an adventure to see if I can find some rubber trees. Rubber trees are not extremely rare, but they are uncommon. By the way, I have Optifine, so I can control and zoom, which is kind of a weird feature you'd think for Optifine to have. It's pretty cool. It doesn't seem like something that, that would be very helpful, hardly ever, but it actually is sometimes. Is this rubber tree? No, it's birch. Uh, that's a rubber tree, though. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is first, you want to look around. And you see this spot here. Use a tree tap on that piece of wood. And it'll give you rubber. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut down this tree because I want saplings way closer to home because that's actually extremely annoying uh, and if it doesn't drop a sapling I'm going to give myself a couple at least two so now I just gotta stand here and wait what's that tree out in the distance over there that guy has an octopus good guy octopus pig As far as I can tell, this is the only rubber tree over here, so like I said, if it doesn't give me any saplings, I'm giving myself some. Because I do not like looking around forever for saplings. What I'm probably going to do is consider this all one episode. I'm going to render it, upload it, and me getting back to the base will be considered the setup episode, okay? Not that you really have any choice. By the time you're seeing this, it'll already be done. And the more likes and views this series gets, the more likely I am to do more parts. I'm still probably going to do more parts because I don't have anything else to do. But it it's probably not something that will be updated frequently. Now, I know you can drop saplings. Don't let me down. I wonder what the percent chance of them dropping saplings is. It must be pretty low. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's at least one. Well, I got one. So I guess in any event that I run out. I'll probably just go ahead and give myself a couple more. Uh, I may actually go ahead and just give myself a couple more. Dun dun. There, because I don't I do not want to run out. And I just get one as soon as I give myself some, and I think there's kill lag. There is. Alright, anyway, 
I've been the Gamer Shadows. Next, uh, next episode, we're going to tackle Industrial Craft 2. I may do a little bit more setup. Maybe make a lab somewhere. But that's beside the point at the moment. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.